Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. And you may notice there's a shadow of on my face, and you're gonna go, wait, that's usually, well that's shadows from the trees, <laughs> but that's usually the microphone from your camera. And it's not shaking as bad as a cell phone. What's the deal? Well, in a bit of frustration last night waiting for the file to transfer from my cell phone to the computer, I was fiddling with the lens and I got it to of open. Of course, while I was asleep. Got it to open. So the camera is back alive. We just can't close the lens <laughs> until we have enough time to get it um, serviced. But in this case, I'll have it for Chicago. Yay! Just here on vacation. I wish. We're going to the Earhart's room to do my shot. Then we're heading to Hollywood Studios because it's Kaylee's birthday. And we're doing a dining experience that we've never done before. Ever. Like, I haven't even done it with my family. I'm so surprised at it. I think I'm not imagining the right. Is it the place with the characters? Yeah. Is it a buffet? Yeah. I'm eating my weight tonight. Kaylee, whose birthday is today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me a high five! Give me a high five! <laughs> Booyah! Guess who was just singing this song? This woman right here. Oh! She's growing on me. <laughs> what did you say? I asked Carolyn if she threw away her Stacy button when she got it in the no. <laughs> You did, didn't you? Never How it. are we such good friends? I was a purist. I was only watching. Excuse <laughs> 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 right. okay. me. How are you doing, Katrina? <laughs> We're trying to make a bang. <laughs> They're picking out their pins or their buttons, rather, for the night. Do anyone want this one? This is the best pin. This is the best. <laughs> Perfect. Ready? Wow. It's a beautiful day for a birthday, girl. No. Yes. Haley, it's your birthday. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> Never seen the survey marker on the walkway. To Hollywood Studios. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. It's a birthday, birthday girly. And Kaylee actually has her own annual pass now because she turned three today. The so big she has old an three. Pass. Let's see She's her. She's the youngest annual pass holder I've ever met. She's so excited she fell asleep. What did you do the moment that you became an annual pass holder? <laughs> fall asleep. Sarah, this is quite possibly the most beautiful night of the year so far. For real. It's so nice. Year isn't like school year because it was probably more beautiful in like January, January February. Yeah. But right now, like since summer, this is it's the most gold. beautiful it's night. Gold. Look at this golden hour. Look at this. There's not a lot of people here, at least here on Hollywood Boulevard, there's not a lot of people. I think our I'm reservations. So amped for dinner. I'm so excited for to see the character. They're in Halloween costumes, I think. Yeah. yeah. And it's so buffet. Hot. Oh, I can't wait. Hi, Cordelia. You want your bottle? Oh, gosh. Such a happy baby. Hey. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Huh? Just strolling down Hollywood Boulevard. Got a sleeping birthday girl. And it is just gorgeous out. And we're going to eat right over there in a little bit. In a little bit, we're going to eat right over there. Buffet. Halloween costumes. Sarah, Earhart's, so much joy. Wait a minute, Halloween and Vine is actually Minnie's Halloween Dine. Oh my goodness. Look at the mural behind us, it's all fancy. We've never been here normally, let alone during Minnie's Wine and Dine. No, Minnie's... Halloween Dine. Yes. And this is a cool like allergy menu they gave us for the buffet. And there's lots of good options. There's blueberry cobbler for dessert. <laughs> so. So. You got your rolls and your whole make your own salad business. More salad and crab and 
cocktail shrimp. Okay, here's the good stuff. Meatballs, like sweet and sour meatballs, roasted cauliflower, which we can have, inferno roasted chicken and buffalo sauce, shrimp mac and cheese with Alfredo lobster sauce, jack-o'-lantern wild rice pilaf, potatoes, peppers and onions, and ribs with habanero barbecue sauce. Yummy, even more delicious item. All right, Chef Coley just came out. He's gonna go see if they, apparently their kitchens are connected to prime time. They're gonna see about getting prime time's vegan dish, but they have a lot of good options here. The quinoa dish that Sarah picked up, super good. So we'll be, we'll be fine, but Chef Coley, you're the man. Hey, Goo. Um, my plate is completely clean. I should have showed it how full it was. I'm going up for more. I'm going for at least three dinner plates and maybe one dessert. Some love, yay! <laughs> oh. Goofy, don't worry, Goofy. We love you just as much as Minnie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's the, the best birthday to wake up to. Can you imagine waking up and being here? <laughs> We got the place to ourselves, pretty much. We're closing down the buffet. Okay. I even got but actually, Caroline, a I cup think they of actually have had a tater tots review. and a cup that of corn dog nuggets for Kaylee to bring home because she clearly is just eating dessert. Sharon, you were the best server in the world. She told us about Chef Chris, who's new here, who likes to make out of the box like her whole her own recipes for the buffet, but they don't advertise it, so then people don't expect it. But we had that that, that quinoa dish was so good, and that was Chef Chris's recipe. They brought the, the vegan dish from Prime Time over here for Sarah and I. It's a it's a buffet, so it's like a fifty dollar character buffet, but it is worth every penny, whether you're vegan or not, worth it. May Man Kieran, five minute wait. That means we have to go on Star Tours. See, but call me an old fashioned, but when do you see Star Tours this empty? That's called Galaxy's Edge post open. 
Look at that floating dog. B row one. High five, dude. No way. Are you gonna be the spy? Or is dad gonna be the spy? 25% chance. I think you need to sit here. I think I, I don't think it's ever been yeah, the it's never the outside. It's never the outside. You're the spy. You'll be boarding in just a few moments. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was so good. And I don't even feel too sick. Kieran, what'd you think? Good. Loved it? Mm -hmm. Kieran's favorite thing about today is that he learned that he's taller than Yoda. And we're back at Galaxy's Edge. This kid doesn't even realize that Smuggler's Run is a 10 minute wait. 10 minutes. You have to go 10 on. minutes. You have to. I think so. I, if all else, just you and Carolyn. Even with my full tummy. It's less intense, I think, than Star Tours. But it's cool. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Nice. So, oh, we're, we're definitely gonna, going. The girls are literally in front of the Millennium Falcon. So I, I called Sarah and said, just wait there. We'll get there. The app says 10 minute wait. No way. Look at Chewbacca. They're working on this X-Wing right now. How cool is that? Are you ready to go on this ride? I would really much like to go on this Ten ride. Ten minutes, you have to go on it. I said we watch the kids. Casual. Chewbacca just working on the Falcon. Peter might have said this already, but it's only a 10 minute wait. It's incredible. So the big kids and their mom and dad and Nana went on and we're with the two little ones out here. You see some fireworks from Galaxy's Edge. Such an empty marketplace. <laughs> Look at this sweet, sleepy little creature. Whoa! That is so cool. <laughs> Peter totally kept Stacy on on purpose so she'd greet us on our way back. I were home and the puppy is needing me to hold her rawhide so she can gnaw away. Sarah's packing. She's going to miss us and we're going to miss her. And I just downloaded the Wizarding World app and I think I'm about to sort myself again. What? I saw it's the biggest craze on the internet, according to the Petruses. So I'm kind of nervous. I think I broke the sorting hat app. It's been doing this for like three minutes. It's just confused at what I'm supposed to be waiting for. Today's daily message is by Seneca. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor man perfected without trials. Oh, deep. Also, I can get sorted in Hufflepuff again. So, puff pride good. for the win. <laughs> I gotta do it myself. I'm a tried and true puffer and huff puff and huff. Huffle, huffle puff. Huffle puff. <laughs> um, happy birthday, Cordelia. <laughs> happy a great day. I had a great day with you. Yeah, it was really fun. And Sarah's the characters are so cute. Never going to see their hearts in 2019 again. Unless we're both in Chicago in the winter. Unless there's surprises with the December trip. But next, if not, the next time Sarah season will be after the dopey, cruise. after the 50K, after the cruise. Wow. So... Well, I'm super oh, sad because Sarah's leaving tomorrow. I'm not leaving until nighttime though, so like, I'm gonna edit here, I'm gonna work here, it's gonna be like a normal day for me. I'm gonna pick Peter up from work, we're gonna go straight to the airport, and he's gonna go out with our friends. But for me, it's like I wake up, say goodbye to her to go to work, and then she picks me up and I drive her to the airport. Yeah. It's not a day, it's not a normal day for me, with you. Yeah. I miss you already. Miss you too. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. He was like... <laughs> she's stressed. She's she's like panting. And pacing. What what, what house is even? What Hogwarts house would Eve be sorted below. into? Let us know what you oh, think. Oh, she came over here like... I think she'd be a Slytherin. Yeah. For sure. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>